Hello everyone. Welcome welcome to my channel. This is Zubair Altaf Qureshi and welcome back to a new lesson. And this lesson is uh, one of the lessons that I have on my series of F5 training. And in this lesson we'll be talking about the feature called One Connect. So after this session is complete you will be able to know what One Connect is and why we need One Connect and how One Connect helps us and second you will know how to implement one connect in the f5 ltm box so before we before we start to i mean implement f5 one connect we will uh, go through the concept okay so let me just explain to you the concept of one connect so basically what happens that i have a client on the internet okay this linux is one of the clients just as you so what it does is it creates an HTTP connection to the big IP right here and then it forms a three-way handshake right sin and then you get the reply from the F5 as sin and act and then finally acknowledgement three-way handshake once this handshake is complete okay then this uh, big IP F5 what it does is it it goes to the pool and checks the um, defines the method of load balancing and and finally chooses a server right and then it uh, when you get this uh, get request this all happens and then it, it selects say server 3 and then it forms again the three way handshake with server 3 right so you have the three way handshake here and then the data is forwarded so that is how it is and then if another application or a new user comes and then this process is repeated again and again so you have these connections to every server right and then it's not just one it is just multiple connections to the server so like that you have enormous number of uh, connections going in the back end right so how this helps is it it helps in i mean uh, redu reducing the number of uh, uh, connections right between the F5 and the pool members so I have the slide created for you so it, it helps um, by using one connect you can cut down the three-way head handshakes right so what happens is the big IP system one connect feature can increase network throughput by efficiently managing connections created between the big IP system and backend pool members right so the ser three servers we have we have kept them in a pool right they are members so the one connect feature works with HTTP keep, keep alive to allow the big IP systems to minimize the number of server side TCP connections by making existing connection available for reuse by the by the other clients by the clients right so what happens is you have a HTTP keep alive running here right uh, when we uh, implemented the health monitoring check so there there is an keep alive going on from uh, from the big IP to the to the um, servers and it, that's how you come to know that the servers are online so that needs to be there if you want to uh, work with the one connect profile okay and what happens is now after you apply the one connect profile once again if the client comes to the virtual IP so you have this three-way handshake here and once the three-way handshake is complete and you get the get request big IP again checks the load balance method and, and chooses a server so again you have that three-way handshake within the servers but now what happens is now when this server uh, this client right he sends the uh, close connection right he sends the close connection but this uh, ADC here the the F5 application delivery controller he uh, it changes this um, close connection to X connection Okay, that means it doesn't close the connection on the back end. Okay, it keeps this connection in idle state. So so that you can use it later on. So you have those keep alive going on on that connection, that three-way handshake is still there, and you have the keep alive going on to keep them up. So you have this as an idle inside the box, right? So uh, now what happens is if you get another request big IP F5 will check do I have any idle connections if yes I will throw the request on that connection and make that connection active so that's how it will work right it's also called connection pooling uh, connection pooling 
because you are using the old connections right pulling them uh, or also you can say uh, the old connections that are not used you don't close them you keep them idle and once you get the uh, new request you just use the old connections right but what if you don't have any idle connections so it will go on and create new connections in in that case okay so i have um some oh, what do you say uh powerpoint here slides and i will like to go through that so this is the i mean you can go through this uh, um, slide you can just pause the video and go through the slide for more i mean um, information into the uh, i mean the mechanism of the uh, one connect right so what happens is actually the source mask is checked by the f5 when you get a new request so it will check the source mask if it is in the same network then it will uh, use that old uh, idle um, connection right but i mean by default you have slash 24 but in case of the um, uh, cdn right the networks right now we have like the aws cloud and all those uh, uh, providers right so we have multiple proxies in the cloud right so you don't want a slash 24 to be there so it, in this in that case we'll use a slash 32 but it's up to you you can change this accordingly right and all these uh, uh, settings you can change in the uh, in the profile when you create the profile you can change all these uh, settings so recommendations when using the one connect feature you should consider the following factors when using one connect to optimize http traffic fi recommends that you apply an HTTP profile to the virtual server. Yes, this allows the big IP system to efficiently manage connection reuse without additional configuration. Failure to apply an HTTP profile may result in ex unexpected behavior such as backend server traffic being sent to the wrong client. So yeah, uh, you need to have the HTTP profile also applied to your uh, virtual server. Uh, avoid using a one connect profile for non HTTP virtual server that process more complex transactions such as FTP or SO. so this is uh, I mean um, uh, based on your uh, if you don't have any HTTP um, based uh, traffic right so if you're using um, hosting an FTP server doing the load balancing that is for that and yeah that's uh, that's the whole story let's move on to the lab and configure this and see this in action right so I have my big IP here uh, and I will go to my big IP login with admin and admin one two three. So in order to uh, uh, test this, what we need to do is we need to go to the F5. So this is my F5 box. Uh, so here you need to go to your uh, one connect profile. Now uh, I mean create a one connect profile. So for that you need to go to profiles and then other and then one connect. So here you have a, a default profile but we will not be using this we will uh, it's recommended not to use the original one and ch make changes to that you just create one and use the parent profile this one so I'll, I'll name this as one r1 connect and these are the I mean options that I, I was talking about so here you can change the mask length specify if you want it to keep it at like slash 32 by default you will go by, by slash 24 uh, maximum size of the connections that you want you can um, I mean change it here maximum age before um, I mean, uh, whole time you can say maximum reuse how many times you will um, reuse a connection idle connection right idle timeout okay and the limit type so you have all this in the slides that I've uh, given you and you can just uh, pause the video and go through the slides I'll click finish here and then next is what you need to do is you need to go to your virtual server here and for this your HTTP profile should be yeah so you need to select the HTTP profile here and then you have to apply the one connect but before I apply the one connect uh, what I need to do is uh, what I want to do is I will go to my uh, module and statistics and I want you to guys to see this total connections okay so I'll just clear the statistics here so I want the difference between uh, one connect profile and uh, 
without one getting profile. So this is without one one getting profile. Uh, one getting profile because I have created the profile, but I have not applied the profile on the virtual um, server, right? So let's see. Uh, I have my Linux machine on the outside. This one, I'll, I'll generate some uh, traffic to the virtual server IP. So that is the one. Okay, and then I'll change the IP address. Uh, see, okay, and then again I'll generate some traffic, and then again I'll change the tr uh, virtual IP of my so, uh, this client. So I've changed three times, right? So just remember this now I will go to the statistics here and I will refresh this so it's 3 here so it's 48 okay just remember this so I'll go and what I'll do is I'll I'll apply the one connect profile now okay first of all I'll clear the statistics so I had 48 remember clear the statistics come on okay let it just update so yeah so it's zero now uh, I mean back to normal four uh, okay now I'll go to my virtual server here and I will apply the one connect profile here this is the one we have so once this is done I'll go back to the statistics page so here I'll go to back to the statistics page okay I'll let me clear statistics again and then again I will generate some traffic okay so this is this and then I'll change the IP address apply and then again I'll check the IP address apply and then again okay now I'll refresh here and see okay so I have lesser number of connections so that means uh, the connections are being used right and so th uh, this is how the resources will be I mean saved right so that was the uh, one connect profile and the demonstrator demonstration of one getting profile and yeah this is it for this video guys so if you like my video and like my content of the channel please do subscribe to my channel and like and share okay okay guys see you in my next video bye bye thank you